Hey, welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the best objective you can use to increase the outreach of your Facebook paid advertisements. In the previous video, I highlighted the importance of organic Facebook outreach by leveraging on the importance of uh, using Facebook friends, 5,000 in total, and then uh, increasing your followership and then using Facebook groups, using Facebook pages, cross-linking between uh, all these sections and then ensuring that you add a value in your viewers' life. By adding a value in their life, not only they'll be inclined to follow you more, but they'll also uh, be your word of mouth advertisement tool uh, and will help bring more eyes on your Facebook channels. In this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of carefully selecting the objective of your campaigns in order to get the maximum return on investment, commonly known as ROI. As far as I'm concerned, after having spent uh, a huge amount of uh, money on Facebook advertisements uh, in last uh, few years, I have realized that the best medium that catches the corner of uh, someone's eye is video. So if you want to get best return on investment, my advice here is choose the objective as video. Now, that's just the starting point. Should not be your destination. The video is more engaging. You are able to convey your point of view across more nicely. And in the video, if it is nicely animated or if you're appearing in a camera just like I am, uh, if you're able to add a value, if you're able to flip the feature into a benefit, be it you are selling a product or a service, I think you'll go a long way in the completion of your objective. Now, once you have created a nice video, the research I have made in this regard is do not overstretch the video time over two minutes. Keep it inside two minutes. I have no specific reason to back my argument here. But that's what I've experienced over the years. A lengthy video this sort of like gets boring and people do not spend much time in watching a video after one half minute or at most two minutes. So let's just keep the time duration of, of our video content to maximum two minutes. Once a video is nicely created, you are using an HD camera, 4K to say the least. You have animated your video nicely. There's, there's a text over, there's a... Uh, you know, um, nice animation if, uh, if, if the video requires. I think uh, you have done half of your work. The next thing is choose the uh, target audience wisely. Now, when I say choose your targeted audience wisely, I would like to highlight the importance of identifying the right audience in your radius, whatever you're selling, be it a product or service. So for example, if you're selling a perishable product, if you're selling a bakery item, for example, for a bakery item, you will be advised to sell to the radius around you at most, let's say, five miles because, you, you know, you've got to uh, look after the expiry <laughs> timeline for your product. But if you are selling a service, you can uh, sell it to any part of the world. So there's, there's no restriction uh, for uh, selecting a radius. Uh, best thing is to make sure that you choose people based on interest who have shown interest to the similar product or service in the past. Or most importantly, make sure uh, that uh, your ad is visible to them and they are interested in hearing from you. So for example, if you're selling a mobile phone and if you do not select uh, people who have got an interest in mobile phone, people who have got interest in gadgets, I think you are losing out to a huge chunk of uh, right audience who could be interested in buying your product. That being said, the next point I want to emphasize is the final objective of your campaign. You need to ensure where do you want the traffic to go to. In my case, after a lot of experiments, I have experienced that the best way to uh, take your traffic to is not the messages, not the inbox messages, not the WhatsApp messages, not the direct website URL, not the phone number, not the physical brick and mortar store address, 
but it is your landing page. Now, landing page is an additional page you create outside your website. The reason why I highlight the importance of landing page is because on your landing page, you can have three things. A, you can have one signal push notification, which means that uh, once people subscribe to your notifications, whenever you announce an, something new on your website, not on your landing page. For example, you could be owing a blog and if you put a new blog post on your website, for example, if you are an e-commerce website owner and if you put a new product or you reduce the price of your existing product, uh, once you announce that, people will be notified and uh, they're more likely to uh, visit your website and take a decision. So the first thing you need to have on your landing page is having a push notification enabled. I use onesignal.com. I have used it on my blog beanguru.com, on my e-commerce stores, on my other blogs, on workshare.com, which is Pakistan's freelance marketplace. Uh, works like charm for me. And I hope uh, if you uh, enroll into this free service, you, you won't regret it. The second thing your landing page needs to have is email opt-in form and that needs to be placed prominently somewhere on the very top where the user lands on your website. The reason why I highlight the importance of having email newsletter on your website is because once people subscribe to your newsletter and uh, once you send out monthly or bi-monthly or bi-weekly, whatever uh, your plan is, a newsletter and then uh, People get to know about your new plans, your new services, your new products, uh, discounts you are offering, uh, maybe a coupon code. This works like a charm. I mean, um, this is one amazing way to get in touch with your customers directly. And then you can create and develop a report with them. Creating a direct connection is the most important desire every business wants to uh, make an, uh, by having a sign-up form prominently placed on your website people can opt in for your newsletter. The third thing you need to have on your website is Facebook pixels. We have uh, covered this in detail in the previous videos, how to set up your pixels, how to set up your events, make sure how to target those particular event uh, when you advertise because it's retargeting. Um, you are reaching out to all those visitors who have visited your website in the past but did not take a decision or they just came in for window surfing and then left your website. You can show your ad again if you retarget them. And the best way of retargeting those customers, those viewers is you install Facebook pixels on your website and then you record their Facebook ID, which is the best way of uh, retargeting them when you create an ad in the future. So these three things help uh, you in uh, A, getting a best ROI when you put your money on Facebook advertisement. B, create direct relationship with your customers, be it push notification or email opt-in form or Facebook pixels. Uh, you can reach out to these people who have visited your website in the past. And then the research says that people do not buy in first attempt, uh, in first visit, but uh, when you show your ad again, they're uh, likely inclined to take a decision. And uh, you can only help them in taking a decision if you show your ad again. So uh, that's what I've experienced over the years. A, the objective of your Facebook campaign or ad would be create a video. Focus on video. Do not advertise on pictures or, or, or let's say advertise your Facebook page to get more likes and followers doesn't work. At least doesn't work in 2022. In contrast, if you create a video and uh, then the final objective is to direct the traffic to your landing page and then from landing page, uh, you capture their email addresses, uh, you have uh, Facebook pixels installed, you have one signal push notification installed. Uh, this could be the best return on investment uh, for your Facebook ads and it's going to work like wonders, uh, just like I've been enjoying my Facebook advertisement in the last couple of years. See you in the next video.